Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we are just two days away from the first presidential debate, and the roof is already caving in on President Joe Biden. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you are supporting Trump in 2024 and you support keeping our nation conservative and keeping our core values, hit that join button and join us here as a member on this channel. Joe Biden, by all accounts, should not be able to stand and debate with former President Donald Trump for an hour and a half. If you've seen this man in action, you understand this is not a person who exudes confidence, exudes cognitive ability, is able to form coherent sentences that people can understand and readily repeat on demand. He can read from a teleprompter. He can do that. But what he can't do is do things off the cuff. And now it's very interesting to me that Donald Trump is making appearance after appearance and Joe Biden appears to be in the fortress of solitude. Nobody's seen him. Nobody's heard him. Hasn't been on camera. He has been in seclusion for days and will continue to be in seclusion until the debate on Thursday. So what if something happens? What if something happens with Russia or North Korea or Iran or Cuba or anything? What if something happens? This guy is locked away and you have to wonder what they are doing to him while he's locked away. They are preparing him for the debate, they say. Well, why doesn't Trump need to be secluded to prepare for the debate? Why does this guy need to be secluded? What is going on behind closed doors? Well, former President Donald Trump, he has demanded, demanded a drug test before and after this debate to see exactly what they're doing to Joe Biden behind closed doors. I want you to take a look at this piece from Sean Hannity, and then I want you to let me know what you think in the comments. Caroline Levitt, thank you. We appreciate you being here. Now, tonight, there is a lot of speculation about Biden's mysterious time at Camp David. Some think the cognitively impaired 81-year-old is catching up on sleep, recharging his batteries ahead of the debate. Others say he's spending hours and hours with advisors, practicing standing for 90 whole minutes, memorizing pre-written lines of other people, participating in very intense debate prep. Then there are those like former White House physician, Congressman Ronnie Jackson, who are calling for Biden to take a drug test. By the way, they speculate the president could be taking some kind of performance enhancing drug. Seventy percent of the American people now want the candidates to be screened for drugs like courses, like athletes. Wow. We have no idea how Biden prepares for big events, but it is very unusual that the president tends to spend days away from the public before any big event and then occasionally shows up like he's been shot out of a cannon. We call that version of Biden jacked up Joe or hyper caffeinated Joe. But as always, we report, you decide. We stopped you 50 times before we will stop you again. In fact,